Hello everybody, welcome back to Freeze Coins. Today, we got a grab bag to search. Let's get right into it. Alright, so I got just got this grab bag for Christmas. Pretty excited about it from this seller on eBay that is recommended by Silver Picker on YouTube. I'll put one of his links to this up in the corner here. And I'll put the link to the seller down in the description so you guys can check him out. If we get some good stuff in here, you guys might want to see if you want one of these bags too. Because I heard these are really fun to search. Alright guys, let's get right into this and see if we got anything good. And see <clears throat> what it all adds up to be with the value. Alright guys, we're going to start it off with this. I'm going to try to, if I can, when I'm editing this video, put like the marker for like how much money we're at right here in the corner but i might not be able to do that but if i do then that'll be cool if not oh well i'll still be telling you guys how much i think each of these things are worth and this is just my personal estimate this isn't really based on anything unless i don't know what they are because then i can look it up on ebay or google see but yeah let's get right into this thing all right just got this open we got his business card right here Make sure to check them out. Put the link in the description. Now, let's get it on with the first item in this bag. So, we'll start off with the front here. Where we got this really cool JFK. John F. Kennedy International Airport. With a picture of his brother and sister or something. Dedicating the airport. And it's got this uncirculated 1964 Kennedy. It's pretty sweet. It's got a lot of information and stuff on the back. Wow. So he says $13 on here. I'm going to say that's about right. So I'll put $13 on that. And then we'll go to this next item. Alright. So actually something fell out down here. Bunch of foreign currency here. Pretty interesting. Wow really cool some of these all right I'm not exactly sure how much these are worth but I'm gonna put maybe a dollar or two on these so let's go to the next thing that'll be really cool to add to my foreign currency collection though so that's pretty cool. all right next up we got this Indian head pennies issued at 19 1890 to 1891 so I guess we got a 1890, 1891 Indian head set here. Don't see what's so special about them. Just common Indian head sets. It looks like they're definitely circulated. <laughs> and then we got some stamps down here too. Which is pretty cool. Some Indian style stamps. Nice. It's got a lot of information on here. This thing says eight dollars. <clears throat> um, I would say. Probably not eight dollars worth in my opinion. I would go down to like five dollars or so on this. But yeah, that's just my opinion. All right, we'll add that and go to the next. All right, next up here we got this purple sheet that says uh, "stub for special tax stamp." I'm not sure what this thing is. Hmm. 1878. It does look old. And kind of tattered up around the edges not sure what exactly it is but still cool antique item well i'll look up that see what it is and add it to the bottom there if i'm not using that now we got some older foreign currency it looks like in here hmm cinco So this is a World War II from Algeria, it says. They're definitely circulated. He says $3 on there. I'm not sure what these are worth. These are really cool though. Yeah, I guess I'll go with $3 on these too. So I'm not too sure what they are. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, now that we finished that first section, we can get into this actual grab bag here. See what goodies are in here. Let me get this open and bring it to power. 
and just got it out of this plastic thing. Oh, this looks cool. Can't wait to see what's in here. What should we pull out first? Guess these buffalo nickels, I see. Might pull those out first. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. So it says a four piece buffalo set. It says $8 on here. Let's see what we actually got. So we got a 1919. Nice. Got a 1927. Pretty cool. 29D and a 36. Not too bad. These all have a good readable date. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Should I really say that's $8? I would think like $6 maybe for this set. I don't know what you guys would think. But. I generally think of Buffalo Nickels as like a dollar a piece, but because these all have good dates, I'll just say six dollars for this set right here. My opinion. All right, what else do we got? We also got some uh, V Nickels in here. We've got a 1904, 1905, 1910, and a 1912. All right. Also like the Buffaloes, these are about a dollar a piece. So it actually says twelve dollars on here. I'm not sure where they're getting that from. But I would say this set is probably, maybe, I'll do, I'll be nice and say that's about six bucks, even though I really only pay four. But since they put it as 12, I'll say that's, that's definitely six dollars. You can't get more than that for just common circulated vehicles. You can't even see Liberty on any of those. All right, let's keep going. All right, and we also got, I think, an Indian headset, just like those other two here. We got an 1899, 1903, 1906, and a 1907. Not too bad. They are all circulated for sure. Not too bad in condition. It says six dollars on here. Yeah, I think that's about six dollars. So, right. what else we got? Here? All right. Also in here, I see this wheat scent roll. Hmm. Let's see. Unsearched wheat scent. Well, I'll be searching those probably at the end of this video if we have time. I highly doubt they're unsearched, but we'll go through them anyway. See if there's anything cool. It says eight bucks on here, but if it's really just a bunch of fifties and forties, it's really like two to four bucks at most. So we'll put that to the side. All right, we got this. What is this? Some kind of postcard. First day of issue, Luma, Texas, October 8th, 1993. Don't know what this thing is. Some kind of postcard. Whatever. Hmm. Okay, so there's actually like two of them in here. Okay. It says a dollar on here, so I'll just go with that. So I'm not sure what these even are. Alright, what else do we got? I think we got the same thing. flowers. Hmm. I'm not sure what these even are or why they're included in this grab bag, but I don't know. We'll add it to the list anyway. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Let's go pick out this thing. It's taking a lot of room. Right. We got United States Liberty Coins. So this thing says... 1896, 18, or 1986 two piece Statue of Liberty set, $32. Let's see what we got here. these are silver or not, but no, they're clad, but still, really cool set here, that we got, alright, I'll look that one up and see how much it's really worth, I don't know if it's worth $32, so I'll put that down there, alright, what else do we got, alright, 
I see this five dollar bill hooking out here. It's a nineteen sixty three Red Seal five dollar United States note. Pretty cool. I don't know if I have one of these in my collection. I think I have a, I have a blue seal. I don't have a red seal, actually. So that's pretty cool. I'll add that to my collection. It does look like it's got some folds in it. That's too bad. Mm, it says $8 on here. It sounds about right for this type of condition. Alright, let's put it down. Let's see what else we got in here. Alright. US coins and silver, world coins, and then there's a set of nickels here. Westward series nickels. I have a bigger version of this little case, I think. So that's pretty cool. So we got two here. We had the PND, uncirculated, and PND gold plated. Says three dollars on here. I would not say that's three dollars. It's maybe a buck at most, but still cool. I'll put that on display somewhere. There we go. Now let's hope that we get some good stuff in here to make our get it our money's worth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave the U.S. coins and silver to the end. Let's start with these world coins. New World Pirate Era Spanish 2 bits. 1490 to 1590. Huh. Interesting. I'm not sure what these things are. It's pretty cool though. It says $15 on here. I doubt that's $15 for these two little tiny pieces of coins. But I'll look it up and I'll put what it is. Still cool though. Alright, All right. what else do we got in here? Ooh, what is this? What in the world? Some kind of dragon. Is this Chinese? What is this? Oh, yeah, that's Chinese for sure. China Dragon Dollar Restrike, not silver. What? So is this like a fake coin in here? What? I don't know why this is included. It's some Restrike. So it's like not even a real coin. Huh. Well, that's kind of worthless, actually. I mean, it is cool to see it if it was real, but it's really kind of pointless. I don't know why they would include a Restrike of a coin in there. Hope we can get some better stuff than that. Alright. What should we got in this envelope here? Probably a bunch of random world coins that you see in this bulk box. So that would be my guess. <laughs> Foreign coins, they do look older, so that's nice.
I'm kind of messy for you, man. So, it doesn't look like there's anything yet to that in here. Alright, guys. 19 at 24. Alright, let's move on to the next part so we can get this over. So there we go. That one is real. Alright. Alright, now it comes down to this final bag to hope that we can at least break even with this. Even though I doubt we will, but I hope there's something good in here. Alright, what do we got? What is this really big? Finally, got a nineteen twenty one Morgan dollar. Mm. Not bad, not bad. And it's in this cool holder. Nice, twenty six dollars. It says. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. That's got a little ding at the top there. That's a <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'll just say twenty six dollars on here. I'll be nice. Alright, and uh, the last few coins in here. Oh, you uh, I like what I'm seeing. There's a two cent right there. Wow. It's pretty sweet. So what year is it? 18 at 64. It is really heavily circulated. But that is a two cent coin right there. It says ten dollars. I don't know if it's ten dollars. I'd say eight to ten dollars on that. But yeah, really cool right there. Oh yes. Oh, I'm happy about that. We got a half dime in here. Wow. Eighteen fifty eight half dime. Wow. That's better than the better condition than the one that I have in my collection because I only got one. This is a little damaged and stuff. It says seventeen dollars. I'm not sure. I'll look all these up and put them in the corner. But yeah, really cool there. Awesome. I'll upgrade my half dime. Ooh, a 1943 S. Walking Liberty. Nice. Nice detail on there. It says twelve dollars. Yeah, I'd say ten to twelve dollars on that. Pretty cool coin. And the last but not least, a braided hair, large scent, right here, 1845, does got some nice detail, it's not, not one of those coals, so that's cool, it's actually maybe G4 condition, but it is for sure clean, old cleaning or something, but really good detail on the back there, pretty good on the front, you can see Liberty, it's 1845, says thirteen dollars. Hmm. I don't know if I'd say thirteen. I'd maybe say ten bucks at most, but yeah. Alright guys. And there you have it. That was the grab bag that search. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope we broke even at least with the money. Because it was an auction on eBay and it did get up pretty high higher than I wanted it to. I mean I did get this for Christmas though, so I didn't pay for it thankfully, and that was really fun to search, so shout out to that seller on eBay, I'll put the link in the description, if you saw from this video, if you think it was worth it, I'll also put how much it, or the link to this actual auction there, to see, so you can see how much I paid for it, or how much I got it for, because so I got it for Christmas gift, but yeah, alright, wait, before you guys go, I forgot about these wheat cents, sorry about that unsearched wheat cents. Let me just quick go through these and bring you back if there's anything cool. If not, then that'll be the end. Alright guys, just search those wheat cents. Nothing really good. We got one steel cent. Most 40s and 50s, but we did get a nice on a 30s, 20s, 10, teens. So, not too bad, but hey, I'd say about 4 bucks for that roll. Alright. And the final total will be right there on the screen if I figured out how to do that. All right, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry about the length of this video. If you stick around this long, thank you, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.